President Joe Biden has unveiled stricter travel rules to stem coronavirus as the U.S. confirmed eight cases of the Omicron variant. Mr. Biden said his plan doesn't include shutdowns or lockdowns and does not expand vaccine mandate. New York State has five Omicron cases and Minnesota and Colorado one each. The first U.S. case cropped up in California on Wednesday. Local health officials have so far reported mild symptoms in the case. The variant has now been found in at least 23 countries. It is still not clear whether the highly mutated Omicron strain is associated with more transmission or more risk of evading vaccines. Under the details unveiled on Thursday, all international passengers will have to be tested for the virus in the 24 hours before they leave for the U.S., regardless of their vaccination status. Mask requirements on planes, trains and buses will be extended until the U.S. government will seek to make available millions of free at-home tests through private insurance companies for those who have coverage and through health centers and rural clinics for those who do. The administration's plan for the winter months also consists of steps to encourage all adults to get their booster vaccines, including through a public education campaign and more targeted outreach. Over 40 million Americans have received their boosters, but Mr. Biden said nearly 100 million more are eligible and have not yet had hundreds of family vaccination clinics will be set up across the country in an attempt to increase vaccination rates among children and teenagers. The U.S. and several other countries have banned travel from eight Southern African countries. Health experts have said travel restrictions will buy them time to study the new var- Five cases of the variant have been detected in New York, State Governor Kathy Hochul said on Thursday. A man who attended a convention in Manhattan in late November tested positive for the variant, said if one of the cases was a vaccinated 67-year-old woman in Suffolk County who was experiencing mild symptoms of a cough and a headache, said Governor Hochul. The other four were a case confirmed in California on Wednesday and in Colorado Thursday were identified in travelers who had recently flown back from South. A Omicron positive individual in Minnesota had recently returned from a three-day anime, Japanese cartoon convention in New York. With the rise of the Omicron variant, Joe Biden is back in front of the American people with another set of steps to stop the spread of COVID-19. Unlike his last major action, however, the administration's plan is light on government mandates, perhaps a reflection of the political firestorm his previous orders created and the legal morass that has instead, Mr. Biden is pushing for greater access to testing and encouraging, but not requiring, all Americans to get vaccination booster shots. He also makes specific mention of keeping schools open and children in classrooms, a reflection of the white-hot rage last year's extended closures generated among some suburban parents, who have become a key part of the Democrats' electoral vote. When Mr. Biden assumed the presidency earlier this year, he acknowledged the success of his tenure would be determined in large part by his ability to contain the pandemic and return a semblance of normalcy to America. After some early positive results, the rise of new variants, along with vaccine hesitancy among some in the U.S., dampened those hopes and exacted an economic and political Thursday's action suggest Mr. Biden knows a return to normal is still a long way.